Hi, in this video we'll see how to work on the smart art. Smart art is a very good thing which you can use for your presentation purpose. These are the topics which we'll be covering. The topics are like layout, smart art styles, reset. We have something as create graphic shape, change the shape styles. Let's see that one by one. Now, if you see the slides, it is a very simple text. These are the names of the countries written and the heading is given as countries. What if I present this text in the form of some image, some shape or something different? So that is we can use the help of smart art. Let's see how I'll press escape key. I'll come out from the presentation mode. Now, how do I convert this simple text into a beautiful smart art? It's very simple. First thing is I just need to select the text here. Select the text and I can go to the home tab. After selecting the text, you can see I'll go to this convert to smart art. Right now, I'll select any one smart art. These are different uh, uh, options which are available for the smart art. So I'll select any one option like this. So you see the simple text which was given, it is converted into smart art. Now still if you think, now when it is selected, still if you think you want to convert into different shape or different size, you can do it. So along with this, you get this tab that is known as design tab and format tab. tab. These are the smart art tools. And along with this, you get a text here, which allows you to type lengthy and small text. So if you want, you can change the text here itself. Now I'm in the design tab and you see, these are the layouts, which I was talking about. These are different layouts. So if I keep on clicking, you see the different layouts are visible here. So as per your requirement, you can just choose the layout like this. You see the layout changes and this is the layout, which it changes. So whichever you think is useful, you can select that layout and you can work on that, right? I'm just changing the layout. So you get an, uh, different options here. And if I click on this drop, drop down, these are different uh, layouts available. I can select any one layout and I've selected that, right? Now there are some layouts which will help you to add some more images, some more pictures also. Like I'll just click on this drop down. I'll find out that layout which has image in that. I'll select this layout. Yeah. You see that's the country names, India, Japan, China, and Malaysia. And there is a empty space which is left on top of that text. What I can do is I can add the some images or pictures and uh, on this, uh, what you call the text itself. So it will help me to represent better. So what I'll do is I'll just click on this image. I mean the picture which is given there. It will give me a dialog box which says insert pictures, insert pictures from file or from the internet. So I'll just click on this place from file. So now the, the area which I've selected was the country India. So I'll select this country flag, India flag, and I'll click on insert. So once I click on insert, India, my country has the flag here on the top. Similarly, you can keep on adding the flags for every country, country here. So I'll click on Japan, click on this place and Japan flag is this one. I'll click on this Japan and I'll click on insert. Same way for the China and Malaysia, click on this image from a file and uh, China. This is for China. Click on insert. And the third one and the last one is Malaysia. You see the size is properly auto fit there. So I'll click on Malaysia on this place and this place. So you remember the very first time I've shown you the names of the country. They were, that was a very simple text, but I can just modify it and I can just add some images also to make it more presentable. Next is if you find this color is not that great. If you want to change the color, you can use it from here that is the smart art styles you can change the color from this place so these are all the same color that is the blue color if you want to make every uh, image smart art into different color you can choose the color from here like this these are different shades of the color now i can select any one like this so india japan this looks a decent way similarly i'll just select one more here yeah so I've selected here. Now, similarly, if you want to change the style of that, if you want 2D format or 3D format, so you can choose from this place that is smart art styles. And if I click on this place, so these are the different smart art styles. If I select any one, you see the style changes. I'll click on this one, the style changes. So it depends where you're going for the presentation. You can choose the format. And uh, similarly, these are also available, a decent format, which is here. Now at any point of time, if you think you do not like this smart art, you want to just come back to the original place. So you can use this option, which is given here as convert. It says convert to text. Once you click on convert to text, you see it changes back to the place original, which I was there, right? The original text, which is present. I'll just press control Z. I just want to show you something again. Now at any point of time, if you change the position of this smart art, any one thing, if you change the position, 
and uh, you try to change you try to work or experiment on that and if you think it is not in the proper manner you want to reset the style so you can go to this design tab and you see there's an option as reset graphic if you have moved the position if you click on reset graphic if you see it comes back to the original place and the color also comes back to the name same blue color that you'll get it so i hope you are able to understand how to create a smart art graphic right convert the boring simple text into the different place we have also seen how to work on layouts change the color work on smart art styles and how do we reset it that's all for this video